Hello everybody, my name is Shratnos. Welcome to my weekly vault. This week, after some uh, suggestions, I'm going to do it in reverse order. So instead of doing my main first, I'm going to start with the potatoist characters and work my way up to there. Um, so first off, we got this Death Knight. I did heroic last, like heroic Teragru, KT, and Sylvanas on this character last week. So you can see it's got some pretty... Uh, some pretty weird gear. Got a blood spattered scale from the weekly vault last season. Pretty early on as well. Kind of aged a little bit at this point. Still wearing a hymnal of the path for some reason. At level 194. What we're looking for out of this vault would be like, I guess, a 246 Jathis Old Warrior's Soul. Or just, you know, Domination Helmet chest piece, something like that. You know, whatever. Not a big deal. This character's not too likely to see any play for anything, but I actually have a lot of fun on Blood DK, so... Oh, hey. Alright. We got a item level upgrade on the, the pants slot. Nothing too shabby. We'll take it. Certainly not a uh, not an impactful upgrade or anything, but an upgrade nonetheless. And the thing about the Great Vault is there were a lot of, there were a lot of slots that actually you kind of would be unhappy to see. Uh, less so from Raid, but still... You know, I, like six or so of the slots in my character wouldn't have been upgrades if I saw them out of that slot. So, uh, well, I guess only four or five. So it was a pretty, it was a pretty high likelihood vault to be good because it was a raid. A heroic raid vault is way more likely to be an upgrade than like a mythic plus slot because of the way this patch works. Even though it's going to be a smaller upgrade on average, um, it, it, you don't run into that domination socket problem, right? Okay, now for the most ratty character to be opening a box this week. We've got my hunter here. This character is currently specced into survival, which I've actually played. I played a little bit of survival back in Legion. Nothing too serious, although I did do some alt mythic on on it in like uh, Nighthold. And then I played Beast Mastery for a while during Nihilotha, and that was really good. And I've been pushing keys on that thing. Uh, so this character, it has it did a key last week. So we're looking for, I guess, a weapon, a cool trinket, something like that. I don't know. Not a domination overlap. Okay. I don't actually know what the male domination slots are, but as long as they're not gloves, I'm pretty happy. Even if they are gloves, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with this, but let's see. Let's, uh, let's see how sad we are. Oops, not that one. That one. Uh, I guess Sanctum, Loot, Hands. Ah, those don't have domination sockets. All right. We are in business then. That's uh, that's probably pretty good. What's it got? Crit haste. Hey, I think those are those are some uh, pretty good stats for this spec as well. Still rocking a two hundred item level staff. Also, there's a good chance I'll just play MM or BM on this thing. But anyways, let's uh, let's move on. Okay, so my warlock and shaman unfortunately didn't get a box last week. They both had mist keys, which I was like, oh, this will be easy to do on Monday night, right? But then, yeah, it actually wasn't that easy, and I went to bed without doing a key on either of them, so uh, that was unfortunate. My mage, though, did do a key. So we get to see uh, if this character got something good. The mage is starting to get to that point where there's a good chance the vault won't have an upgrade, especially, I think this character has two 252 rings, which would be a really bad outcome. Uh, and then most other slots, I think, could still be good, although, of course, you know, whether or not you're really happy is based on whether it's going to steal one of your domination sockets long term. Yeah, so you can see, I guess, most slots would still be good here. No shoulders, no ring, and it'll be an upgrade, right? Okay, I think that one's pretty good. I think... I think this trick is supposed to be pretty good. I don't know, um... I think it's supposed to be pretty good for Frost as well, right? Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's, uh... Let me pull up my... Little M plus data thing. Hmm. Frost. Trinkets. This is a site I like to use to see what people are using for stuff. Uh, subcreation. You can do M plus dot subcreation dot net or raid dot subcreation dot net. Uh, okay, what are we looking for? Trinkets. That's the that's the one. That's the one I just got. All right. So it's just the uh, the raid trinkets that are equally good or potentially better. But probably just because you can get them at higher item level. Probably the fact that this thing's 250, 252 has got to be, uh, got to be some tremendously good news. All right. Uh, well, I imagine what's just happened there was, uh, that was probably the best item that could come out of that slot. 
Uh, especially to replace this 130 psyche shredder. Is anybody online in guild that'll be annoyed by this? Let me see if I can link this. Bye-bye, uh, psyche shredder. <laughs> Hello, unbound changeling. <laughs> Yeah, that that's probably <laughs> that's probably gonna annoy some people. Okay, alrighty. Let's uh let's go take a look at the demon hunter next. So this character is my alt, but alt rate is now doing well enough that we are clearing enough mythic bosses to get two mythic raid slots. This character hasn't killed Kel'Thuzad or Sylvanas yet, but it's killed the other eight. Um, so there are a lot of good items that can come out of the raid vault. We're looking for another Cruciform Vein Ripper, would I guess be ideal. The Guardian Trinket would be nice too. Uh, and then failing that, it's just kind of minor upgrades all around. The Fate Scribe Ring, that Verse Mastery Ring, would be good for as long as I'm using Bloodlink, which uh, <laughs> I'm upgrading my Frost and Unholy Shards now, but it's still going to be using Bloodlink for a while. Okay, Crit Haste Speed or Haste Mastery Socket. Hmm. I think I already have a breaking wheel. Yeah, I do already have a breaking wheel at 252. It's just not better until I socket it. Last I checked. Speed is cool. So is a... So is a socket, although mastery is not particularly cool. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm gonna make this decision later. These are... I'm, I'm probably gonna end up taking one of these items and probably not actually wearing it. This, this miniature breaking wheel will be better once I get off of... Um, once I stop using Bloodlink, but for now, blood, the way the Bloodlink works is versatility scales really well with uh, with Bloodlink, and like haste and everything else doesn't. Uh, so as long as you're using this thing, the way my stat weights are working out, it's like it's hard to get away from from verse rings to put on haste rings. We'll see though. Maybe maybe, uh, maybe I'll take this. I don't know. I mean, this is literally just a speed upgrade over this thing though, and speed's not a particularly important stat. On the other hand, this doesn't really do anything for me either. Mastery is one of the worst stats for Havoc. Um, I already have a better... Like, I have a better necklace. I just This one has a socket, but I can buy a socket. So maybe I'm going to end up taking the, ten, the Tokens of Merit. That's a weird... That's a weird Great Vault. That one's uh, definitely interesting. All right, and then finally, we have our main character here. This warrior is pretty close to done. The single biggest upgrade that's still in the Great Vault would be an Old Warrior's Soul from Sylvanas. Uh, that thing would be... That represents, like, almost all of the DPS that I could still gain uh, on this character. After that, there's really not too much else that uh, can upgrade me. There's, like, the Sylvanas Ring. Uh, I guess the Kalthazad Necklace. The Sylvanas Shoulders. Those sorts of things are basically all that's left, though. It's really only 259 items. So if we see two items that say 252 on them, and they don't have, like, a tertiary stat or something, there's a good chance we'll be taking the uh, the tokens of merit. But if we see an old warrior soul, that would be, like, a nice 1% DPS increase. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, this is the shoulders that have more item mobile. So I'm almost certainly taking that. The Ouroboros I would actually use for prot, probably. But, uh... Oh, not bad. Not bad to get a, a 259. Those things are hard to come by. So we'll take it. All right, that's probably... Does that bring my item level to 255? No, it doesn't. That is unlucky. Okay, well, I gotta run a sim to see if that's currently better for me. I, it was simming as, like, a side grade last I checked, but uh, I gotta rerun all my options, see if I can move around some stats and stuff. Uh, this might have squeezed out another 10 DPS or something for this character, but besides that old warrior soul, there's really not any major upgrades left for this thing. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> hope your Great Vaults were lucky, or your single Great Vault. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll try and I'll try and get some more options. At least make sure I get more characters done for next week. Kind of ran out of time this week by surprise. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.